bad in this as a swim. I would want to wash my hands until he gets home. John Quincy Adams, uh, he's, uh, he's better than Mumford and Sons. John Quincy Adams is the correct choice for president in this election. Being Secretary of State under James Monroe, he has lots of experience. He has negotiated many treaties in his time being Secretary of State, including the Florida Treaty, which allowed the U.S. to buy Florida. Stop the it. Treaty Stop. of 1818, which settled land issues between the U.S. and England. And the Rush Baggage with rude British troops. He is considered one of the best diplomats of all time. In addition, he is a supporter of the American system, having a national bank and higher tariffs to generate more funds for their government. This will improve infrastructure, such as roads, bridges, and canals. He will work to eliminate slavery as he is strongly against it. These normal, everyday people are just like you, and they're big supporters of John Quincy Adams. But don't just take their word for it. Here's a few quotes from various famous persons who are big John Quincy Adams fans. Hello fellow Americans, I am John Quincy Adams. You may know me as Secretary of State under James Monroe, and primary writer of the Monroe Doctrine, which proposed that European countries stay out of countries in the Americas. There is a reason that James Monroe's terms were considered the era of good feelings. And it is because of my help, there has never been a better diplomat in history than me. As a president I plan to keep my same philosophy of peaceful negotiations with other countries in disputes as it has worked in the past, but don't just think that I'm only good with foreign affairs. As a president I plan to ratify the American system, which will improve this country greatly. It will establish a national bank, which will create a unified currency throughout the country. In addition through a little higher tariffs, the government can have more funds to make roads, bridges, railroads, canals, and other transportation ways this country needs. I propose better relations with the natives and, as an opponent of slavery. In my term as president, I will work to abolish it, as it is wrong, so, citizens, when you go to the polls, think who will be the one that wants to protect your country and improve upon it. Not Andrew Jackson, not Zachary Taylor, not Grover Cleveland, not Calvin Coolidge, not Woodrow Wilson, not Gandhi, not Zachary Taylor, not Benjamin Harrison, not Nixon. So who will be there? Me. John Quincy Adams. Thank you.